crikey, I'm stumped. I think this is fake. Regardless if it's fake or not, we can all agree it looks bad. Hey everyone, it's your girl, Emily Curl with iHeartRadio, and today we're hanging out with Wolf Alice. Hi guys, how are y'all? Uh, yeah, we're good. Hello. What's going on? No, we have something fun planned for you. We're actually going to play a game here at iHeart where we do albums, real or fake. So the way this game works is we're going to throw up an album on the screen and you have to tell me if you think this is a real album cover or if it's a fake album cover. Sound good? Yeah, I'm, I'm into this game already. Yeah, I like this. So let's go ahead and throw up our first album cover. This is Birds Do It. Take a oh. look. Walk me through your thought process. Let's do it. Uh-oh. Right, Birds Do It. This is a contentious album name if you're from the UK because Birds has a very misogynistic connotation. It looks old though, and if it is English and old, then it is, you know, probably going to be rife with that kind of uh, yeah, horrible, horrible stuff. <laughs> the flares are making me think it must be... 70s. What do we think? Does it, you reckon this is real? No. I don't know if the birds do it thing matches the rest of the... It looks more modern. I don't know why. This, I if that. this isn't real, then our next album, we've now got the name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the final verdict? It's fake. <gasps> fake. Uh, <laughs> uh, but the analysis was good. Let's throw up the second one. We have curly hair, don't care. <laughs> Babs and gabs. I don't know, that just looks like a meme to me. This isn't mm. real, man. This looks like something... I think that's like, fake. This is Instagram. Yeah, the font it? doesn't match the picture. Yeah. It looks like that um, awkward family photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this isn't real. That's the Grand Theft Auto <laughs> font. <laughs> Slightly looks like you, Theo, as a child. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be real because it's an actual picture of Theo. Should we go fake again, then? Yeah. yeah this isn't real. That's me and my mum. Fake. <laughs> fake. This one is actually fake. Okay. All right, one and one. Here we go. Let's start up our next one. Elma, Elma Fredley. Fredley. Elma um, Fredley. Ragnos? Odin. Fredley. Yeah, I'm thinking this is real. Yeah. Is that an accordion? Yes. This is real. I would listen to this. I need to hear yeah. it. Hey, someone needs to make it. What kind of music do you think they play? This is dub. This is dubstep. <laughs> They're like a Skrillex offshoot post dubstep <laughs> kind of thing. Like skiffle. Yeah, oh yeah skiffle wow. Skrillex. Are we saying real for this one? Yeah, yes, let's real. Wow. <laughs> okay, you're coming back. You're coming back. All right, let's throw up our next one. We have Geraldine and Ricky. Trees talk too. Like that. Oh, that looks that looks so era correct with the font. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, it just looks like one of those mad vinyls I've seen in a vinyl shop at some point, and then all the logos and stuff kind of match. And those, yeah, real. Yeah. yeah. Wolf, Al is coming through. Okay, you're doing great so far. All right, let's throw up our next one. We have a few more for you. Okay. <laughs> this is home records. What your wife doesn't know. I hope this is fake. What the yeah. hell? It looks like a fake Spinal Tap cover. The thing about this is, its intention uh, is to be sexy, but if you saw that, you'd be petrified. Yeah. <laughs> your wife doesn't know. If you woke up and you were like, your wife it's doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of hope it's real. I can hear the like horrible blues rock of this record in my head already. Mm. No, I feel like a band who would have this name and this album title and this artwork, they would have designed it differently. It's too neat and stuff. Okay, so we, this is a curveball and we reckon it's fake. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I am so impressed right now. Okay, let's wrap our next one. We have Joyce. This is fake. No, Steve, right. Joyce, this is the auntie of the curly head. <laughs> you guys have got my family. Uh, <laughs> I like this. This is designed wonderfully for me. <laughs> and because I'm so behind it, I'm going to say it's real. <laughs> now I'm bad. Now I want to trip you guys up. <laughs> God, Ellie, you're really scarily good at this game. No, I got the first one wrong. All right, let's throw up our next one. We have That's Jell bad, Craig. Man. Come on, no way. Look nah. at his... He looks like Boris Johnson on holiday. <laughs> this one's almost so bad that, like, yeah, I feel like we are trying to get tricked that it might be real. Mm -hmm. and not offense, even got like a bit of wear and tear on that bit, which would be very well done. So many fonts going on. It's like a Wolf Alice album. 
crikey, I'm stumped. I think this is fake. Regardless if it's fake or not, we can all agree it looks bad. Is that like a yachting competition he's chosen for the mm. The yachting picture looks too, way more modern than his picture. His forehead's not it doesn't look quite attached to his lower head. Oh, for me. What about if he's a real person and he watches this and he's like mm. Oh, we're sending him this video. <laughs> <laughs> he's the head of like heart radio, so <laughs> <laughs> it's fake. No, no, he's gonna see all of this, all the shit you talked about. <laughs> oh, I mean, it is it actually is really bad. Because <laughs> you can see the wear and tear. Oh, I'm so sorry. I did not mean that about your head. I thought he was a great looking dude. I just thought the album cover could have been designed better, but otherwise, looks like a talented, nice, nice guy. I'm going to listen to this. I'd love to go for a beer with him sometime. Let's throw up the next one. This is We're All Doing Fine. Wolf Ellis, confidence rock bottom at this point. Uh, this looks like uh, Nevermind, but like... This is fake. The people who would make this would have put them their, their band name on the front, wouldn't they? Yeah. And also, we're all not doing fine. No one's been doing fine for a while. Unless the band name is We're All Doing, and then the album name <laughs> Yeah, is that's fine. what I was thinking. <laughs> you don't want to call your album fine. Yeah, this is fine. Do you stay fake then? Yeah. yeah, come on. They're back, baby. This one happens to be my personal favourite. Stallions. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I think that's real. I kind of think that's real. What other context mm. did they make this hair piece for? I guess it could be for oh, like, some hair show or something hair like that. Gel, like, yeah. Whoever it is, they need a different hairdresser. <laughs> Maybe they have the best hairdresser. In the yeah, true. Oh, no, that's Amazing. a way to look at it. If he asks for that, they gave him that. <laughs> what kind of music do you think Stallions play? I think it plays the theme tune to the Grand National, which is <laughs> a horse race we have. Real. <laughs> No! <laughs> God, what? Where does this photo come from? We have one more for you. Fake. Fake. <laughs> the last one. Wolf Alice, congratulations. Your new album, Blue Weekend. Tell us a little bit about this one. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone can jump in. <laughs> I'm still analyzing as to whether this is real or not. Well, we made a new album and it has been a hell of a long time. I think we found out the other day, which none of us seem to know that it's been four years since we've uh, we put one out. It's now, you know, almost round the corner that people are going to start to hear it. And I've got to say, I think it's our best one yet. So good that we put ourselves on the front cover. Which that's the real front cover. Now, what themes are you exploring in this album? And how do you know it was the right time to come back again, like you said, after four years? I know, it explores many themes, I think. Um... It's not really like a concept album or anything like that. It's just kind of put together some of our favourite songs that we'd written over the years. Um, it explores love and friendship and many excess, many a kind of internal crises. Both the answers, I guess, it just happened quite organically and we didn't go into the studio until we felt ready and felt like we had a body of work to go to Brussels to record with. And then we didn't really leave Brussels until we felt like we had a body of work to call an album. And we did some additional recording when we got back to London, but I think we all just kind of go on gut feelings with these things. And collectively as the four of us, when we feel like that's a Wolf Alice song or a Wolf Alice record, then I think the four of us kind of know. And now we're talking about album covers. Tell us the inspiration behind your album cover. The shot that was taken here is by an amazing artist, I suppose, called Jordan Hemingway, who we collaborated with throughout this record. We've kind of, we've made a visual accompaniment to every song on the album. In each of the situations that appear throughout these videos, there's about 11 of them that are to come. We kind of put ourselves in and there's a photograph of us in different situations, we were kind of going through it all and looking at everything. And I think us waiting at a bus stop in the middle of the nowhere seemed to sum up how we were feeling at the time. <laughs> no, no. We, want to, we want to be going everywhere, but we're stuck there at the end of Wolverhampton. What else can we expect from Wolf Alice this year? Obviously new music. Can we expect shows coming soon? What does that look like for you guys? God, it's so difficult to tell whether anyone can do any shows. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to be putting out, like I said, lots of new, you know, videos and things like that and exciting things that we've been working on to go with the record and if things start to open up and, and when, when it's safe we're going to be the first people to be playing gigs I tell you we spent our, most of our young 20s on tour and I think we all don't know how to function without it so 
As soon as everything's open, we'll be there playing to anyone and probably no one. Well, Phallus, thank you guys so much for being here. So nice to meet y'all. Cannot wait for the new music. Congrats on the new album and congrats on being so good at playing albums, real or fake. Can't wait to see you guys again very soon. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Pleasure. Thanks so much for watching our album covers, Real or Fake, with Wolf Alice. Make sure you stream all their music on iHeartRadio, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.